done with AR-15s and ready to upgrade to Big Boy 308 AR-10s? We dig up the best AR-10 choices that won't put you in the poorhouse. You won't believe the incredible quality and features you can get for a fraction of the cost. Watch till the end, as this guide could save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Palmetto State Armory PA-10 Gen 3 MSRP starts at $839. Price alone makes the PA-10 one of the best AR-10 choices on the market today. Yet, Palmetto State Armory doesn't leave shooters out in the cold when it comes to a quality build. Long considered one of the best values in ARs, the gunmaker offers a litany of features plum rare for the price point. Forged receiver, stainless steel heavy barrel, and adjustable gas block are all standard fare on these economical shooters. Beyond simple trigger and handguard upgrades, the PA-10 catalog serves up an impressive selection of specialized models. In addition to the stock 308 Winchester PA-10, Palmetto State also fields the 6.5 Creedmoor PA-65 and lightweight PX-10. Up the scale, the rifles run a bit more, but not so much as to prove exclusionary. Standard across all models is the choice of 18-inch or 20-inch barrel length and six-position adjustable buttstock, both PSA and Magpul. Outside of the base PA-10 model with a polymer handguard, the rifles come with either Keymod or M-Lock compatible free-floated handguards. Diamondback DB-10 MSRP $1,146 Available in several models, the DB-10 series from Diamondback is a great place to start in the AR-10 venue. This includes a choice of 308 Winchester and 6.5 Creedmoor chamberings. And like PSA, across the board, the guns come in at a price nearly any shooter can afford. Even with a wealth of choice, it's difficult to go wrong with the company's entry-level DB-10 CCMLB. A Spartan, if not tidy build, the gun runs reliably and proves agile in practical use. Much of this is thanks to the gun's 16-inch chrome moly barrel, a point that might turn off dedicated long-range shooters. Lightening the 308 Winchester's load considerably, hunters and others who require a fast-handling hard hitter will find it a boon. The one knock that keeps it from the best AR-10 status is the mil-spec trigger, which is exactly as it sounds, gritty and creepy. Never fear, going up the ladder at Diamondback is a painless process and generally worth the extra money. Stainless steel barrels and CMC single-stage triggers are the reward for opening your wallet further. Springfield Armory St. Victor MSRP $1,497 Springfield Armory offers shooters a top-notch selection of AR-style rifles, but its St. Victor AR-10 really shines through. Lightweight great fit and finish, and everything else that goes into making a quality rifle certainly places it among the best in this class of firearms. If there's any nit to pick over the rifle, it's the price tag. It's at the upper end of the entry level. Available exclusively in 308 Winchester, AR-10 does give shooters plenty of reasons to spend the extra money. Boasting a 16-inch barrel, the carbine is highly maneuverable if you're looking for a convenient hunter or a hard-hitting defensive option. Springfield doesn't skimp on the furniture. An M-Lock compatible handguard adds appeal. Not only does it free float the barrel, but also gives you real estate for all your doodads. However, the trigger is what turns heads. A nickel boron coated switch bests most out-of-the-box triggers in other guns. This, generally speaking, is worth the price of admission alone. SIG 716i Tread MSRP $1,499 Top to bottom, SIG's treadline hits an incredibly difficult target, the intersection of quality and affordability. This goes for its heavy hitter, the newish 716i. Yeah, the 308 Winchester is plain as a Kansas road trip, but it has it where it counts. There's no wiggle room between the receivers, and the barrel is heavy enough to shrug off heat and all its key components are magnetic practical tested. One of the interesting twists, the rifle's 16-inch carbon steel barrel. Purists might scoff at such a short shooter, but it makes the 716i quite nimble, even with the behemoth 30 caliber suppressor dangling off the muzzle. Furthermore, 
SIG incorporates a solid system for attaching the free-floated handguard around the barrel. Employing a clamping system at the rear, the unit has the extra backbone to remain rigid no matter how dolled up with accessories. Unlike SIG's previous forays into the AR-10 sphere, the 716i is direct impingement, expected at this price point. But this plays well into the gun's compact configurations, keeping it a fighting trim 8.5 pounds. Ruger SFAR Ruger strengthens its position in the sporting rifles market by introducing a promising line of the AR-15 style semi-automatic models based on the new small frame auto-reloading rifle action. The SFAR action combines the ballistic advantages of the 308 Winchester with the compact size of a traditional modern sporting rifle in 5.56 NATO or 223 Remington. The more compact of the two initially available configurations features a 16.1 inch barrel and weighs only 6.8 pounds unloaded. Thanks to the use of superior materials and technologies, the SFAR action is bigger and stronger, while remaining thinner and lighter than that of the 308 caliber gun. Utilizing many mil-spec compatible components and fitted with the Ruger Elite 452 trigger, the Ruger's SFAR construction and operation are the same as those so familiar to the millions of Americans who have already fired AR-15-style semi-automatic rifles. The upper and lower receivers are both CNC machined from 7075 T6 aluminum forgings and feature an oversized magazine well, forward assist, dust cover, and brass deflector. Another key feature of the Ruger small frame autoloading rifle is its adjustable gas system. Manually regulated using the included wrench, the system has four gas settings to ensure reliable and efficient function, whether the rifle is dirty, clean, suppressed, or unsuppressed. The system will also help to dampen felt recoil, further aided by the included two-port boomer muzzle brake. The price in the US for the Ruger SFAR is $1,299. Smith & Wesson M&P 10 Sport Savvy gun buyers have been wise to the M&P 15 Sport for some time. The M&P 10 Sport? Not so much, or at least it seems that way. Gun shows aren't exactly bristling with them, nor are the review sections of gun magazines. A loss on both counts. Smith & Wesson knows AR-style rifles, and it shows in arguably one of the best AR-10 options on the market, regardless of price. You heard that right. Built like a tank and capable of pinpoint accuracy, the 308 Winchester has chops enough to hang with many of the big boys. Well, not the furniture or trigger, but you were going to upgrade those anyway, right? At once, the rifle is unassuming and impressive. More the latter once you see it print. A steady MOA producing machine, the 16 inch barreled M&P 10 is likely all most shooters would ever need out of the brutish end of ARs. If they did, SNW has them covered with a Performance Center 6.5 Creedmoor rendition. Suffice it to say, the iteration drifts away from affordable, but for those who put a premium on long-range accuracy, still proves a value.